Hey guys, this is Marissa and welcome back to my channel, The Budgeting Wife, where we talk about budgeting tips to help you win with money. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an April 2019 budget with me. So I'm going to be walking you through our actual budget for April, showing you the income that we plan to bring in and how we plan to allocate every single dollar into our budget. But before we get into it, I want to let you know that the budget template I will be using is actually one that you can get yourself. It is for sale on my Etsy shop for $5, so I will have a link in the description box below so you can check it out and purchase this budget template if you are interested and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and with that let's get into the budget so here we are in our budget in Excel this first green section is our income so I have Jacob's income and my income individually blocked out but I do show you our side hustle income which is my business for the budgeting wife so this month I plan to bring in $765 so this is where I plan to bring it in. Um, I have ad revenue, I plan to bring in 315. I have affiliate revenue, which is $100. Freelance, 500. And then courses, about 50. And then Etsy, I plan to bring in $200 from my Etsy shop. So for a grand total of $1,165. Then I always budget $200 a month for business expenses and then another $200 into my savings for my business. And that is because I am going to FinCon soon here in September and so I'm working on saving money for this trip. So I'm putting a little bit away to savings. So at the end of the day, my take home pay is going to be $765 for my business. So up here, I have 765. So as a grand total for income, uh, we are bringing home $5,825. And this is a zero-based budget, which means that all of our income equals all of our money out. So now to show you how we plan to spend every single dollar of this $5,825 income. So in this blue section is normal expenses. The first three line items that I have here are actually things that we give to. So Jacob and I are Christians and we believe in giving to our church and other organizations. So giving is always important to us, but that is just something that we have blocked out for privacy. And next we have rent, which is always $14.55 a month. Our lease is up in November. So we'll see. I'm hoping that we'll be able to buy a house and move. Um, so yeah, that's our rent for now, $14.55. Utilities this month, we already found out that that will be a $57.97. It varies depending on the month, and we just pay our apartment complex for that. Electric, we plan to spend $70 this month on electric. Um, you'll see in my March budget report, but our March electric was so much higher than we expected, and that was because it was February's electricity, and it was definitely very cold here in Portland in February, so... We had quite a hefty electric bill, but $70 I think for March as it's been a beautiful month so far here in Oregon. Internet is $39.99 like usual. Our phones for both Jacob and I is $108 total. Car insurance, this has gone up since we added our additional new car. So $153.86 for our two cars um, to be covered for insurance. And this is also includes our renter's insurance, which is another important thing to be paying if you are a renter. Groceries, $2.50 like usual. Eating out is $50. Gas, we plan to spend $150. I have a Roth IRA that I put $200 into a month, so that's what that is. We plan to spend $50 on household related items and then $50 on fun related items in April. And then miscellaneous is $100. So that's just everything left over that doesn't fit into any of these categories that we may spend money on. So the grand total for all of these normal expenses is $3,294.82. So that is about 56% of our take home pay is in normal expenses. So now to move on into the fun things that we have planned for the month in our sinking funds. And I love being able to put money in here as we're saving for our financial goals. So I first off have our emergency fund, which has $10,000 in it. And this is something that we are done saving for right now. We plan to increase our emergency fund once we do have a house, because I know that we'll have a liability of having to cover um, house repairs and things like that. So having a greater emergency fund is going to be very beneficial. But for us right now as renters, we don't really feel that we need more than $10,000. Um, so that is what we have in there. I have this section blocked out just because you guys haven't seen our March budget report yet and that's where all of these balances will come from so you'll have to stay tuned and watch the March budget report when that comes out next week. So first off, Jacob, he gets $100 added to his budget every month and then I get $100 added to mine. 
um, giving. We do an extra giving fund. So we put $50 a month into an extra giving fund and this just allows us to be able to say yes to additional giving opportunities if they come up. So we love being able to include this in our budget and this is something that we just put into a fund and we save for it each month. $300 toward vacation. We are actually going on vacation in May, so we just have a couple more months to save for that, but we're going to Hawaii and really looking forward to that. So we've already bought our flights and our hotel is actually covered. We're going with my family. So just some additional activities that we're going to want to do. So we're putting just a little bit into that vacation fund. Christmas, we're saving $20 a month for Christmas. I know that that's very small, but it'll just be nice that once we get to December, Christmas will already be taken care of. Car maintenance, we plan to put $50 this month into car maintenance. I expect that that's going to go up here soon. It looks like we will need a set of new tires this summer, so we'll probably have to save a little bit more for that big tire purchase coming up. Clothing, I recently spent money on clothing, as you guys know if you follow me on social media, um, but Jacob and I got our tax return and we used some of that to go to new clothes because we haven't bought new clothes for ourselves, I think our entire debt-free journey, it's been, and our marriage, so it's been almost like four years. So we got a few new things, but we aren't going to be adding anything else to the clothing fund right now. Our car fund, we have money sitting in the car fund, but we're not adding to it. So this is a new car purchase for us. Um, and so we just have $3,000 set aside waiting for whenever we are ready to make a car purchase, whenever we see the right thing come along. And now the big thing, the big financial goal that we are working on right now, which is saving for a down payment on a house. So right now we plan to put in $1,910.18 into our house fund, which is so exciting. Um, I think that we'll definitely be able to reach our goal of $20,000 by October for a down payment on a house. And so we'll just have to see how the market's doing and if we'll be able to um, you know, afford that monthly payment, but we are going to be able to have the down payment goal that we, that we have. So we're excited about that. That's a good chunk. And I really hope that we're going to be able to stick to that amount for house savings. Um, as much as we love our apartment that we're in, I recently did an apartment tour video, which I'll leave a link to up above. So you can check out if you're interested in seeing where we do live. And I love it so much, but I am really excited to have a house and just have a place of our own someday soon. So that's where that is for. So in total, we're putting $2,530 into some sort of savings. So that is 43% of our budgeted income. So our total out is $5,825, which means that our difference is zero because this is a zero-based budget. Everything balances and this budget is complete. So this is a look at our plan for April 2019 and how we plan to allocate the income that we bring in this month. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and don't forget to check out my Etsy shop in the link down below if you're interested in getting a budget template of your own. Also, leave me a comment and let me know what is one thing that you were looking forward to in April. What financial goal are you working on this month and how are you going to use your budget to get there? I will look forward to seeing your guys' comments and and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you that I think you're beautiful.